Hello, this is Ed Chapman, and this video cast is going to focus on the cytoskeleton, which includes cell structures like centrioles, flagella, and cilia. Now, the structure of the cytoskeleton is based on microtubules and microfilaments, which are built by enzymes in the cytoplasm of the cell. If you look in this picture here, the microtubules and the microfilaments are color-coded here with green and red fluorescent dye. So you can see how if I trace the cell membrane of this animal cell, you can see how the cytoskeleton gives the cell its shape. Now, the function of the cytoskeleton is to support the cell from the inside. Uh, that's why it's called a cytoskeleton. And to transport cell parts from one place to another, kind of like a cable and pulley system. This allows cells to ch both change their shape and it allows some cells to swim. And cells that can swim are said to be motile. Now, Another way of thinking of the cytoskeleton is like the cables inside of a tent. So if you lengthen or shorten the cables, you can, and the cables are attached to the inside of the cell membrane, you can change the shape of the cell. So if I click through this, you'll see how if we shorten some microtubules, we can kind of pull in on the cytoplasm and cause the cell to change its shape. Uh, the cytoskeleton is responsible for maintaining and changing the shape of animal cells. Now, the spindle fiber and centrioles are built from microtubules. They're inside of animal cells, and their function is to organize, um, organize and move the chromosomes around during cell division. So during cell division, the microtubules that are organized by the centrioles attach to the chromosomes and cause them to line up and move in a process called mitosis. Uh, centrioles are a lot like um, cabling, a cabling system in a circus tent, either holding the tent up or allowing the people, like for example in a trapeze act, to move around. Now the flagellum is probably one of the most familiar parts of the cytoskeleton. If you look in this picture, you can see how the flagellum is attached by an, um, a section that penetrates through the cell membrane and the main part of the flagellum of course sticks out into the environment and by twirling or shaking or moving or changing the shape of the flagellum uh, cells for example like sperm cells are able to, sm to swim or to be motile. Uh, flagellums are, or flagella are not found in plant cells but they're found in many animal cells and bacterial cells. Here's a picture of a some type of microorganism, I have no idea what kind. Okay, here's the cell, and if you look closely, you can see that it has two flagella, one attached to each end, okay? So I have no idea in which direction this cell can swim, but it definitely uses its flagellum for motility. Um, other uh, single-celled organisms frequently have cilia. Now cilia are like tiny flagella that are attached to the outside of the cell membrane, and they are smaller than flagella, and they are also for swimming. And cilia kind of move in unison. They're like tiny beating hairs that push the cell through it through a fluid, okay, so we can use it to swim. I like to think of cilia, if you imagine a Viking ship, okay, I know you guys have probably seen those Viking ships, which have really dragon heads on the prow, but they're pushed through the water by multiple oars, okay? And the trick with using oars is they've got to move in unison. It's the same thing for cilia. Cilia kind of beat in unison to allow the cell to swim through the water. Here's an actual picture of some cilia. Uh, cilia project on the outside of the cell membrane, and you can see here they're arranged in groups, and by moving, they're able to allow the cell to move. Um, let me play a movie for you guys here, and we'll actually see some cilia moving. Let me get rid of that. So here in this picture, you can see all these thousands and thousands of little cilia all beating in unison to move materials or to move the cell through a fluid. Uh, I think, yeah, here's an animation of how they move. Notice how they kind of move in waves. Okay. All right, thanks for listening. That is all you need to know about the cytoskeleton and the microtubules that make up cilia, flagella, centrioles, and um, the microtubules that give the cell its shape from the inside. Thanks for listening.